I really only write in my home because that's the place that I feel the most comfortable. When did you start writing the songs? January, like, like January 2011. Okay. Um, January is winter? This is kind of yeah. impact yeah. the songwriting? It should have, but I was living in Los Angeles, so it was very, very nice. <laughs> and um, I would end up really missing winter, because I really only write in the, in the winter back when I lived in Wisconsin. So I'd be looking at pictures of ice and, um, and like uh, the Arctic and things like that. And I became really obsessed with, um, with like Inuit culture and everything. So in a way, the winter impacted me, but not directly. <laughs> So yeah, does it change the songs from this album because you were in Los Angeles instead of Wisconsin? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how, how, but I know that my experience writing was different because of that. But you don't, you can't trace it kind of back in the song. No, I think that I usually, I usually really work off of that solitude of winter because everything's so quiet and still. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I was writing in an area that was very busy and populated and warm, and everyone was you know, going to the beach and, and it didn't have that same sort of stillness for me. So it felt a little more chaotic in my head. So where then do you go to write the songs? No, I, nowhere really. I, I mean, I, I really only write in my home because that's the place that I feel the most comfortable. But um, yeah, I think for the next record, I need to be back in a place of solitude because that was, it was, there was too many voices around me. All right, so um, what kind of, um, came to me when I was listening to the new record is that it kind of kind of has this tension that it builds up to something. Is that on purpose, or do I need to see the songs separate from each other? Well, I definitely feel like the record tells a story, and um, there is a lot of tension in the record, just because I was feeling so much tension during writing it, um, and um, it definitely feels like a wave when you look at the record as a whole. Um, but at the same time, all the records tell a different story. So what's the story for this album? For this album? Yeah. Well, it's exactly what the title suggests. It's the fact that I, I wanted to do something that was, that was um, a step forward. But to do that, you have to really ask yourself, well, how, how, what do I need to do in order to get to the next, next place, the next step? And so I would look at my past and think about all the things that I, I didn't like about the way that I wrote or the things that I wanted to be better at and then just try to, in one way or another, invert everything that I was comfortable doing and do everything in a way that was unnatural to me. Because I feel like when you get stuck in habits, it's comfortable and you can write songs really easily, but they're going to all sound the same. And so I needed to break that cycle in order to write something that I felt like was... Um, something new. And do we, can we see that lyrical wise or more music wise? What's the most more music wise. I think lyrically you, it's a lot about me going through that process because the lyrics are my way of being really, um, uh, it's like almost, you know, it's like a journal, like a, like a lot of musicians. It just, it's a release. Okay. Can we then compare it maybe to an opera? I guess you said. I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think this is much like an opera. I mean, I think that if I was going in to write it like an opera, it, things would be a lot different about the record. But it definitely is like a has a concept to it. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? What's next? Touring forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna be touring a whole bunch. So and then you said you were more kind of attracted to the cold place for your music. Is it also something you you um, like when you're on tour, like playing in Scandinavian countries maybe or? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love playing in Scandinavia, but I, you know, I'll play I'll play anywhere. Um, but I'm definitely, I definitely feel an affinity with um, more isolated, undeveloped areas just because that's, that's kind of where I came from in one way or another. Okay. Um, yeah, there was one question stuck in my head, but I'm not sure if this is a re really a thing asking from a European viewpoint, but is there, I've read you have a Russian background? Mm -hmm. Is there some, something from Russia influencing you or your, your music? I'm sure there is. And I think it's a lot about how I, um, how I see the world and um, my skepticism and my lack of trust. <laughs> I think it has to do with my Russian background. Um, but um, but not, 
not really obviously or, or evidently is there a strong you know Russian thread through my songs. And what do you mean by lack of trust? Well, I, the the Russian people and especially all of Eastern Europe, I think, have experienced so much um, power over them for so long that they've become very cold and very uh, skeptical and, and um, very nervous around people and especially around people that they, they don't know because just the nature of, of their governments and how they, you know, how they, they were established. And, um, and I just know from my own family that, that that's, that's the case, you know, this kind of standoffishness. So now we're back at kind of the cold. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you.